All right, in this video, I want to show you how to solve a linear equation using your graphing calculator or using something like Desmos. Um, when we solve a linear equation using Desmos, the first thing you need to do uh, is make sure you have Desmos accessible. So you can use Desmos on your laptop, you can use it on your, uh, on your uh, tablet, or you can use it on your cell phone. There's an app on your cell phone for this. So we're going to go to Desmos.com, click on the graphing calculator button. We're going to go to the graphing calculator here. And what we're trying to do is when we solve these equations, notice that there's an equal sign right here. So we want to know the point at which when we have an X value, when will these two values be equal when we plug in an X value? Or when will you get the same Y values? So to figure that out, what we need to do is make both of these equations. So they're just two equations. We need to know when are their y values equal. So all we're going to do for any type of linear equation, where you see the equal sign, is you're going to set both sides of that equal sign. You're going to do y equals whatever that equation is. So on the left-hand side, notice the equation says 3x minus 3. So we're going to type in y equals 3x minus 3. That's just a linear equation or a line. And then we're also going to do the same thing for the right-hand side. Type in y equals negative 2 times x plus 1. And we're looking for the x value at which they are equal. And we can see that when we do that, we're looking actually where they cross. And you can click on the point where they cross, and notice it crosses at 0 0.2, negative 2.4 is the y value. So when their value is above negative 2.4, you have an x value of 0 0.2, and that's when they're equal. And your answer here is the x value. It is the x value. So we type that in, we get an x value of 0 0.2. Or if you do this by hand, you'll see that the answer is 1 fifth. So let's do one more to make sure we understand this concept. So we'll do one more problem. Let's do this one, 9x minus 6 is equal to negative 3x plus 30. So again, we're trying to see where those values are equal to each other. So we're going to do y equals 9x minus 6. And then we're going to do negative 3x plus 30. And here you notice, or y, I'm sorry, y equals negative 3x plus 30. Here you notice that you can't see where the lines are crossing. You can see the two lines, but you can't see where they're crossing. Let's go ahead and move the graph. So all we have to do is click on the graph and drag it to where we see the points crossing. Notice they are crossing right here. You click on that point, you can see that your x value, your x value is 3. So when x equals 3, both these functions will equal 21. We're only interested in the x, so the answer here is x equals 3. So this is how you solve equations using Desmos. And all you have to do is type in each equation and let each equation be y equals. We always put y equals for the left, y equals for the right, and that'll give us our answers.